Hello everybody, it's Star Raptor here, and welcome to my spoiler-free review of Wonder Woman. This is the fourth film in the DC Extended Universe of movies. So, this is, compared to all the other ones, a head higher than all the rest of the DC movies. I know a lot of people give the DC Universe flack for not even being comparable to Marvel, but I think with this film... DC is on the right track. So, this stars Gal Gadot as Wonder Woman. It also stars Chris Pine as Steve Trevor, and it's directed by Patty Jenkins. So, all in all, this is an origin story for Wonder Woman, who is first introduced in Batman v Superman, Dawn of Justice. So, we see through a, a lot of flashbacks, we have Wonder Woman, who grows up, obviously, on Themyscira. If you're not familiar, she is an Amazon. She grows up on an island full of women, one day Chris Pine, Steve Trevor crashes down an airplane and worlds collide. So basically this island has been hidden off from the rest of humanity. When Chris Pine crashes down, she is basically thrust into, at that time, World War One. This is around 1918, something like that. And quickly we get to see the heroics of Wonder Woman really put to the test. You see how she is adapting to life outside of Themyscira, outside of Amazon, and you see what her full potential as put on this planet turns out to be. So things I really enjoyed about Wonder Woman. First off, you can definitely tell that they are going for something completely unique compared to the rest of the films in the DC Extended Universe. We have a very different color palette, especially in the first third of the movie or so when we're on Themyscira, there's incredible sights just a beautiful island and then we go to the juxtaposition of having world war one trench warfare which just looked absolutely phenomenal so there's a lots of places they go to london there's lots of places they go into this film and it just feels like there's so many cool locales that they explore and speaking of world war one I, I i don't know the last time that i actually watched a film that was set during world war one I. I think they did a phenomenal job of tying in this really cool story with stuff that was going on, you know, back in the past there. And it just looks really authentic. All the costumes during that era were just really, really articulated well and just makes you feel more immersed. And as far as like a period piece, this film is almost pretty much a period piece. So that's really cool. Another thing I really enjoyed was the mythology behind all, you know, the Amazon Amazonian lore. So we have you know, Zeus and, and different, you know, gods of the Greek kind of era mixed in with this DC, you know, cinematic universe. And obviously people that read the comics are going to know, very, be feeling very familiar with this stuff. But for people that have no, you know, prior experience with this character, I feel like they did a great job to really just kind of shepherd in this new legion of fans that's going to be just rabid for more Wonder Woman. So they did a great job setting up the character and wow the action scenes I want to talk about them because the way that Patty Jenkins shot some of these action scenes were almost something like out of the matrix in a way there's a lot of bullet time kind of slow-mo in there kind of pausing just a very stylized kind of kind of combat it almost reminded me a little bit of Zack Snyder in a way with some sort of 300 vibes I was getting kind of out of these scenes and just the way that you know, you have the World War One era kind of German troopers with their with their rifles, and you have just Wonder Woman going through and just slashing people left and right using her whip. Just a lot of really cool visuals that are definitely not going to leave my memory anytime soon. And just speaking about Wonder Woman herself, the portrayal, you know, of you know Gal Gadot just bringing this character for the first time to film to life. It's just phenomenal the way she did this she portrays just a character that you would think would be that way after living in isolation and then being introduced with the help of Steve Trevor into the whole world at large and just making these choices and and, and the themes that are explored through the eyes of, of Wonder Woman how you know certain things are going politically correct and she's standing up she's correcting that you got to realize that back in this time women didn't really have a lot of say and she is being brave she is standing up for what she believes in and I think that's one of the biggest things you can take out of this is stand up for what you think is right don't think that anybody's gonna let you be held down and just the relationship between you know Wonder Woman 
you know, we got Diane Prince and Steve Trevor. I thought that chemistry between the two, the two actors, the two characters there was just phenomenal the whole way. It just seems very natural. They're kind of giving vibes off each other because at first Steve, uh, you know, Steve Trevor is getting assimilated into the Themyscira uh, culture. And then after that, you have, you know, the reciprocation. You're going to have... Diane Prince getting assimilated into the London culture and, and stuff of that regard. So it, it just really plays off really, 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 really well. And, you know, going back to some themes. So some themes that really hit me hard were themes of love, you know, see, you know, just things that I didn't think I was going to get from this movie. Honestly, I didn't think it was just going to be, I thought it'd be just like a straight up action movie. But there are moments in this film that really made me sit back and just think about Okay, this is more of an intellectual kind of thing that I could see. Um, something else that I really liked were uh, the, the moments of levity. So a lot of these DC films, minus eh, I guess Suicide Squad tried to have some laughs. Um, but this movie does a great job of being, you know, it's a very serious movie. We're dealing with the First World War. But there are moments of levity throughout this film that actually provide you with some breathing room from the realities of what is actually going on with the millions of people dying during this you know the greatest war of all and speaking of people dying I want to give praise for the villain in this movie because I really didn't think much of what was going on the trailers did a great job of not giving us too much first off so I really applaud the people behind the marketing team for once we didn't have a lot spoiled ahead of time, kind of like Batman v Superman just gave away the, the final villain. This movie does it right. And, and we go in there and there are lots of surprises, guys. I will let you know right now, there are some things that happen in this movie that I was really just on the edge of my seat because I didn't really see it coming. So be prepared for that. But yeah, we have a villain that actually has motivation, that actually has reason to do what he is doing, which a lot of these comic book movies... We are getting these one note kind of villains that just don't really provide a lot of, you know, suspense really. So I really, really like that. However, there are a few things that I didn't actually like so much in Wonder Woman. The thing that took me out of it the most was some of the CGI. I feel like a lot of the movie, especially in the back half, towards the end, it felt almost like a video game. It almost felt like watching some Injustice 2 cutscenes. Don't get me wrong. That looks really, really cool, but mixed with the live action assets, I felt like it was something like a mismatch between the two, and it just kind of took me out at moments. Um, something else, when this kind of plagues a lot of DC films, kind of like Batman v Superman in a way, it did feel a little bit too long. I feel like some of the times, the pacing, they could have cut some scenes out of there to just like, kind of bring it together. This is a very large story. I mean, we are there's three large arcs in here, and you know it's already large enough, so there is some things they could have done to kind of make it a little bit more concise. And finally, I mentioned that there were scenes of levity throughout this film, and, and some, some of those scenes took it a little bit too far. Uh, I'm not going to really tell you what, but there were some moments that I felt a little bit uncomfortable with some of the innuendos going on, and it just kind of lingered a little bit too long, and it just seemed somewhat out of place. So I'm going to give Wonder Woman a score of an 8.5 out of 10. I really enjoyed the heck out of this movie. I was looking forward to it, and it actually exceeded my expectations, and it is definitely my favorite uh, DC movie yet. I really liked Man of Steel and these were kind of neck and neck But right now I'm thinking that I like Wonder Woman just a little bit more both were origin stories and they're both Well done origin stories, but I like this one just a little bit better This is gonna do wonders for you know the female audience I think this does a great job of just presenting a very strong female character and yeah This is a great thing because we have this strong female character that's also backed by an excellent director, Patty Jenkins. I just gotta applaud her for the excellent work she's doing, and, you know, and, and just being at the forefront of filmmaking. And I can't wait for Wonder Woman 2, which I'm pretty sure it's gonna get greenlit. They already are working on that, so it's just a matter of time. But I want to know what you guys thought of Wonder Woman. Let me know in that comment section below. Also, if you like this review, please make sure you check out my other reviews. I also have a review of Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. And make sure you subscribe so you don't miss any of my other content. 
Thank you for watching. I'm Star Raptor, and bye bye. So, did you like the video? Then make sure you rate it a thumbs up. And if you did that, go over there, hit that Star Raptor head, so you subscribe to my channel. Doing so will keep you up to speed on all of my latest content. Speaking of which, you can see a couple of my recent uploads down below. I'm also on social media, so what are you waiting for? Let's start nerding out.